All right, uh, another writing expectation we need to cover is how to cite your references correctly within your document and then list your references, all the resources uh, you got your research information from uh, in your at the end of your document. There's three real common ways that you'll cite uh, references. We'll cover those here quickly. There's additional ones which you need to go to the links um, in the syllabus and then also on the rubrics to get the specifics for that. Also with the listing of references we'll give one example of a book. There's uh, the other resources again go to the links and they'll give you the specifics there. So let's get started with the uh, three most common ways you're going to cite references. The first one is the one that I recommend you use the most, and that's where you paraphrase or summarize the information you got. Uh, real simple with that, after you've finished doing your uh, summary in your document, then in parentheses you simply need to put the author's last name and then the year of the publication. The example's right here in the blue bold with Field 2005. Again, this is the one I recommend the most. The second way is where you do a direct quote. Um, again, this one's very simple. After you do the quote, in parentheses again, the author's last name, year of publication, but you need to add the page number of where you got that. If you're doing quotes from the internet, then again, that publication, go to the specific link and I'll show you how to do that, um, uh, those pieces. Real simple here too, if you're doing less than 40 words on a quote, which is most of the ones that I would recommend you do, long quotes uh, lose some of their power or meaning, is then you do put it in the quotation marks. But if you're doing over 40 words, then there's no quotation marks and you simply put that into a freestanding block itself in the document. You still need to reference it with the author's last name, your publication, and the page number, again in the parentheses at the end. The third one then is a personal communication. This is real simple. Uh, interviews, um, if you're going to be using uh, information from your past coaches, parents, some of the leaders you've been around, if you're using the lecture notes and those type of things, then it becomes a personal communication. And again, what you need to do there at the end is very simple, is you're going to put the uh, last name, but the first initial last name, then you're going to write personal communication, as the example shows here, the date that was done, and again, that's in parentheses. If you're not exactly sure if, again, it was one of your previous coaches or teachers, uh, get it as close as you can. All right. So those are the three most common. The one important piece with the personal communications is when we get into a listing of references, those you don't need to list as references, but you do have to uh, cite them within the document. When we go to a listing of references, APA style requires you to do that versus a bibliography. So the very last page of each of your written documents that you're going to send uh, for assignments, you should have a list of references. That's the header. And then this is going to go through uh, some do's and don'ts. APA style, again, you do not do a bibliography, so don't list that as a title as a bibliography. And then very simple. Uh, you're going to do this alphabetically by the first author, if there's multiple authors, last name. Okay? Now, when we do the example here, you simply need to put the author's last name and then the initial of all the authors there, if there was multiple. Then you need to do the year publication in parentheses with the title of the work. Uh, note, if there's subtitles, like there is the example I'll give here of our textbook, those also need to be in capital letters. And then lastly, you do the location uh, and then the publisher itself. All right. So if you look at the example at the very bottom, this is our textbook, Sabic. There was both uh, Michael and Ralph, father and son. Michael was the uh, 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 first author, so we put his initial first, but then we add the R for Ralph. 2017, here coaching, uh, a realistic perspective. Lanham, Maryland, this is real important when you do the state, you just do uh, the letter abbreviation, not the whole name, and then the publisher was Rowan and Littlefield. So, uh, in general, the listing of references, again, need to be listed alphabetically by first author's last uh, name. And then another important piece is when you write this, if you go to a second line, you want to indent that so that we know it, it belongs to that um, 
original reference listing that you're doing, okay? Hopefully this gives you um, a great start and foundation and has simplified the process a little bit. If you've never done this, and if you did different types, you understand the APA style we're gonna use. All right, good luck.